So are you one of them online? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chag Sameach, everybody. Chag Sameach. I love how far back you're sitting, like we're, like we're going to choose you to, to answer a difficult question. So Chag Sameach, Chag Sameach. We're glad always that you're here, and we're glad that you're joining us at home as well. Some of us had the opportunity to be here last night for Erev Shavuot and, uh, and the confirmation service. And it's still, uh, still, still rippling for me, the, the beautiful words. And I had read them ahead of time, the beautiful words of our students. And, uh, and the depth of their thought. So it, in that vein, we continue, not just that we come for, for Shavuot, not just that we, uh, that, that we come for Yisker, but that we come to connect ourselves to, to this moment. Shelly, what's wrong? Oh, the lights are off. Yeah, it's just, just over that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought we would uh, start just with this very small, um, passage from Pesichta de Rav Kahana. Uh, it's adapted actually from, from, from his work, from this work, um, about the power of, of this moment. Since we say I was a slave in Egypt during Passover, why don't we say I was free at the foot of Sinai becomes the question. So here is, that's much better, thank you. Thank you for noticing. Uh, it's that story, right, about everybody bringing their light to the synagogue, right? Thank you for, no for noticing that ours wasn't on. So this is the passage that, that is offered in Pesichta de Rav Kahana. When the Holy One spoke, each and every person in Israel could say, the divine word is addressing me. Rav Yossi, the son of Hanina, said, do not be surprised by this idea, for when manna came down to feed Israel, each person tasted it according to their capacity. For infants, it was like mother's milk. For the young, it was like bread with oil and honey. And for the old, like a honey cracker. What is true about the manna is also true about the divine word. Therefore, the Holy One said, do not be misled if you hear many voices. Know that I am one, one God for each of you. And I thought as we turn in a few moments, we're gonna be turning to hearing the words of the 10 commandments and reimagining that moment at Sinai uh, for each of us to hear it at every moment in the way that we need or the way that it uh, the way that it tastes or resonates best for us. So let us begin as we turn in our Sidorim to page 418, page 418 with the singing of Mato Rim. <clears throat> Mato, Mato. Oh, 
We'll continue on page 420 as we give thanks for our very creation with the beginning words in Hebrew and then following in the English. Please, please join me. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher yatsar et ha'adam bahochmah, uvaravo nekavim nekavim, chaluim chaluim. Praised to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who formed the human body with skill, creating the body's many pathways and openings. It is well known before your throne of glory that if one of them be wrongly opened or closed, it would be impossible to endure and stand before you. Blessed are you, Adonai, who heals all flesh, working wondrously. Baruch Ata Adonai. My God, the soul you have given me is pure. You created it, you shaped it, you breathed it into me and you protect it within me. For as long as my soul is within me, I offer thanks before you, Adonai, my God, and God of my ancestors, source of all creation, sovereign of all souls. Praised are you, Adonai, in whose hand is every living soul and the breath of humankind. Baruch Ata Adonai, Asher Beyado Nefesh Kol Chai, Beruach Kol Basar Ish. We're going to turn ahead now to page 445 as we continue offering words of praise from Psalm 150. Hallelujah, page 445. Hallelujah. Let the soul of everything alive bless your name, Adonai, our God, and the spirit of all flesh glorify and exalt your name forever, O Sovereign. Transcending space and time, you alone are God. We have no sovereign besides you, God of the first and the last, God of all creatures, master of all generations, who is praised in a multitude of praises who guides the world with abundant loving kindness and all creatures, all creatures with mercy. Adonai neither slumbers nor sleeps. God awakens the sleeping, arouses those who slumber, gives speech to the mute, and God loosens the bonds of captives. God supports the fallen and strengthens those who are bent over. You alone do we acknowledge. Page 450, the middle of the page, as we continue together. You shall always be praised, great and holy God, our, our sovereign, sovereign in heaven and, and on earth. earth. Songs, songs of praise and psalms of adoration praise. become you. Acknowledging your might and your dominion, yours are strength and sovereignty, sanctity, grandeur, and glory always. We offer our devotion, open our hearts in acclamation. 
Aruchata Adonai El Melech Gadol Batish Bachot El Hahoda Ot Adon Hanifla Ot Habacher Bashire Zimra Melech El Che Olamin. Praised are you, sovereign of wonders, crowned in adoration, <coughs> delighting in song, eternal majesty. Uh, this morning you'll hear different melodies, and why is that? Because it's I, I, I said we wouldn't ask them any questions if they sat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, this morning is a festival. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's Hag. So three festivals, Sukkot, Pesach, and Shavuot, has different melodies that distinguish this holiday, these holidays, these festivals from Shabbat, and of course, distinguished from high holidays. So Hati Kadesh, Barhu, Mihamocha will sound a little bit different. The words are the same. So join in if you feel comfortable. Um, but sing together. It kadar, it kadar, shmeirava, belmari vrohirote, veyamli. Continue with our call to worship the Baruch Hu on page 452 and invite you please to rise. The world is sunlight restoring the soul, rejoicing the heart, bringing light to the eyes more welcomed than gold, a Torah from heaven. I have no light to give the morning. My Torah, my special human gift is words. As I bring my words forth from silence, welcome them. You who redeems the sun from darkness, Baruch Ata Adonai Yotzer Hamerot. Our rabbis taught 613 mitzvot were given to Moses, and Micah reduced them to three. Do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Isaiah based all the mitzvot upon two of them, keep justice and righteousness. A most so so one, guiding one guiding principle, principle upon, upon which all 613, 613 are founded. Seek me and live. live. Habakkuk expounded the Torah on the basis of a single thought. The righteous shall live by their faith. Akiba taught the great, the principle, great principle of the Torah expressed in the mitzvah, you shall love your neighbor, neighbor as yourself. yourself. But Ben Azai found a principle even more fundamental. This is the story of humanity when God created us. God made us in the divine image. And Hillel, and Hillel summed, summed up the ma Torah in this maxim, what is hateful to you, you do not do not to others. Not. The rest is commentary. You must go and study it. Baruch Ata Adonai Habucher Beamo Yisrael Beahava Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Please be seated as we continue with the Vea Hafta. <laughs>
Continue together on page 465, praying responsibly. I, Adonai, have called you to righteousness and taken you by the hand and kept you. I have made you a covenant people, a light to the nations. This is the covenant I make with Israel. I will place my Torah in your midst and write it upon your hearts. I will be your God and you will be my people. Hate evil and love what is good. Let justice well up as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. <clears throat> Violence shall no longer be heard in your land, desolation and destruction within your borders. All your children shall be taught of Adonai and great shall be the peace of your children. We are Israel, our God, and a witness to you all. You are witnesses, says Adonai, and my servant whom I have chosen. Know me, therefore, and put your trust in me. We are Israel, God, and we proclaim you in the path of freedom, the ancestor of the Continue now with the tefillah on page 468 and invite you please to rise. Maybe Gil Olive, David, and 
Man Shemo Be'ahaba Melech Hoser Moshiach Magen Baruch Atananai Magen Abraham Be'ezrat Sara Atta Gibor Le'lam Adonai Mechai Hakol Atarav Le'hoshiach Mori Kotal Your might, O God, renews the earth with dewdrops of light and blessing. Let the earth be illumined and blessed. With dewdrops of joy and delight, let the earth rejoice and sing out. With dewdrops of life and well-being, let the earth be revived and improved. With dewdrops of redemption, let the earth be redeemed. Livrecha velo leklala, lechayim velo lamavet, lesova velo liratzon. For blessing and not for curse, for life and not death, for abundance, not want. We continue with the Kedusha on page 476. Nekodesh et shimcha ba'olam, keshem shimagdishim oto bishmimarum, kakatu v'ryot nimiyecha, v'karu azel zeve amar, kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzibot, Melo Haaretz Kevodo. Hai dir, hai dir, eno Adonai, Adonai no ma hai dir, Shimcha Behaaretz. Baruch Kevod Adonai, Mim Komo, Echad Kuevo Eino, Uai Vino, Shiyeno v'yo yashmiyeno Berachamav l'enei kol chai Ha'ani Adonai l'chechem Yimloch Adonai l'olam Elohai ikzion L'dor v'dor Halleluya L'dor v'dor L'dor v'dor L'dor v'dor the door of the door and I get God the door 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 and I get God the door 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 And kindly be seated. Atav v'chartanu mikol ha'amim, ahavta otanu v'ratzita banu, v'romamtanu mikol ha'lishonot. וקידשתנו במצוותיך וקרבתנו מלכנו לעבודתיך ושמך הגדול הקדוש והקדוש עלינו קראת. You have chosen us in love and in favor by making us holy through your mitzvot and drawing us close to your service that through us your great and holy name may become known in all the earth. In your love Adonai our God you have given us feasts of gladness and seasons of joy. This festival of Shavuot season of our receiving Torah, to unite in worship and recall the exodus from Egypt. Eloheinu ve'elohe avoteinu ve'imoteinu ya'alei ve'ya'avo ve'ya'avo ve'izcher zichroninu ve'zichron kol amcha beit Yisrael lefanecha le'tova u'lechein u'lechesed u'lerachamim u'lechayim u'leshalom 
ביום חג השבועות הזה. Our God and God of our ancestors, be mindful of your people Israel and recall our merit for good and grace. And in loving kindness and compassion for life and peace on this festival of Shavuot. Zochrenu Adonai Eloheinu bo letova. Amen. Ufokdenu bo livracha. Amen. Vahoshienu bo lechayim. This day, remember us for well-being. Amen. This day, bless us with your nearness. Amen. This day, help us to a fuller life. Bestow upon us the blessing of your holy festivals, and may we so celebrate them as to be worthy of your blessing. Our God and God of our ancestors, make us holy with your mitzvot, and let your Torah be our way of life. May our rest on this day be pleasing in your sight. Satisfy us with your goodness, gladden us with your salvation, and purify our hearts to serve you in truth. Let your holy festivals remain our heritage, and let us celebrate them with joy, so that all Israel hallowing your name, may have cause to rejoice. We praise you, Adonai, who sanctifies the house of Israel and the festivals. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh Yisrael, Bahazmanim. And together we will continue, Ratse Adonai Eloheinu, Be'amcha Yisrael, Utfilatam Be'ahava Tekabel, Utihi Ratson Tamid Avodat Yisrael Amecha, El Karov Lechol Korav, Pane el avadecha vechonenu, Shafok ruchacha alenu vetechazena enenu beshufcha letzion berachamin, Baruch ata adonai, Hamachazir shchinato letzion. As we give thanks, we say we acknowledge with thanks that you are Adonai, our God, and the God of our ancestors forever. You are the rock of our lives and the shield of our salvation in every generation. Let us thank you and praise you for our lives which are in your hand, for our souls which are in your care, for your miracles that we experience every day and for your wondrous deeds and favors at every time of day, evening, morning, and noon. O oh, good one whose mercies never end, O oh, compassionate one whose kindness never fails, we forever put our hope in you. For all these things, O oh, sovereign, let your name be forever praised and blessed. O oh God, our Redeemer and Helper, let all who live affirm you and praise your name in truth. Blessed are you, Adonai, your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Ulachana Elehodot. We continue this morning with the singing of Sim Shalom, which can be found on page 490. <clears throat> Sim shalom tova ubracha hein va esed verachamim verachamim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'al kol Yisrael amecha barchinu yutzreinu kolano kechad behor banecha ki behor banecha natadalanu adonai Sim shalom tova ubracha hein va chesed verachamim verachamim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'al kol Yisrael amecha Torah chayim ve'ahavat chesed ve'ahavat chesed u'tzedak ubracha verachamim v'chayim v'shalom. Sim shalom tova ubracha hein va esed verachamim verachamim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'al kol Yisrael amecha v'tobin echa leborech et omcha Yisrael v'cholet u'v'chosha b'ishma Sim shalom tova ubracham hein va esed verachamim verachamim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'al kol Yisrael amecha. 
Baruch Ata Adonai HaMivarech Et Amo Yisrael Bashalom. And let us hear that Sim Shalom as it ripples and we move into our spaces, our places, each of us on our own for some private prayer, some moments of silence and some moments of reflection. It is customary on the, the festivals, also on Hanukkah and for Rosh Chodesh each month, to recite psalms, to recite the words of Hallel, a collection of psalms that are typically and customarily shared on these special days right after the tefillah, which is where we will turn now to page 560. We'll begin first. Cantor will will offer the blessing. We will share that with her together, and then we continue on to Hallel. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Gideshan Bemitzvotav, Vitzivanu Likro Et Chalal. So we continue to sing Hallelujah, 562, Abetzet Israel, which is another praising of God, Hallelujah, and this is participatory. So we'll sing together the chorus, 
And then you have to count, I believe, eight lines down where it's going to be responsive singing on Male Ha Ha Yam. So, so we start as a chorus. Bet say the Israel, me, me, try him. Bet the Yahako, me, I'm boys. Bet say the Israel, me, me, try him. Bet the Yahako, me, I'm boys. I do, I do, you do, let go, Israel, mom, and so lot of It is good for those of us who don't quite have that range to, uh, to, to reach as we head to Seder Kriyata Torah. It is a good and important moment for us to reach vocally as we reach for words of Torah as well. They should be close and also a stretch, right? We should, we should uh, aspire to, uh, to, to grab them as best as we can. In fact, uh, there is a beautiful passage from, from the Talmud, from, from Ta'anit, adapted from Ta'anit 7, which says, why are the words of Torah like fire? A fire is built, many logs, one on the other, and the words of Torah survive only through many minds, one on the other, as we continue to learn. So thank you for giving us the range to reach as well. Pages. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Pages 494 and 495 as we continue now with Seder Kriyat HaTorah. We'll begin on page 495 with the reading for Shavuot. You shall count seven weeks, start to count the seven weeks when the sickle is first put to the standing grain. Then you shall observe the feast of weeks for Adonai your God offering your free will contribution according as Adonai your God has blessed you. I am wondering how many of you have ever been part of the Torah service and, and, and if you would like to help us this morning, Rabbi Katz will offer the Aliyah this morning, but if you would like to help us open the ark, if you would like to help us undress or redress the Torah, I'm gonna just say, use your discretion and come on up. We are gonna be on page 494 as we turn to, to opening the ark from one of you who, whom I hope will come forward and, and open the ark, just come on up. Uh, we will invite you also please to rise, page 494 for Seder Kriyata Torah. If you would like an honor, come forward and I will be more than delighted to, to give you one. Malchut 
And kindly be seated. <clears throat> this is this is the day. Please be seated. This this is the day, literally and figuratively. Rabbi Katz, come on up, please, with pleasure, with pleasure. This is the day where where if you haven't had the opportunity to have a Torah honor, this is a great day to do it. This is Shavuot. This is our day for nearness to the Torah. Every day is, but this day especially. And this day when we are in a more intimate crowd, uh, we promise we will walk you through. If you've never done it before, come be with our, with our words. Come be with our texts. Come be with our stories literally and hear them as well we are reading as you know this morning from the ten commandments we read from uh from uh the section that is historically read all ten of the commandments this morning uh, as as we must and as we must hear them in the way that i mentioned that that beautiful reading at the beginning each of us hearing it in the way that we are going to interpret it at this moment in time each of us having stood at sinai that day and each of us standing this moment with those who stood at Sinai as we, we, we reveal again and anew the words of Torah from, from the Ten Commandments. You will find the passage on page 476 in your Chumashim, page 476 in your, uh, in your Torah commentaries. And the cantor has some wonderful Torah readers to invite up, and Rabbi Katz, who we know is skilled and gifted at the Aliyah. <laughs> So Esther Brill and Marlene Gordon will be the Torah readers. 
but you will notice the layout of the Torah is different. And as Rabbi mentioned, you're welcome to come up and look at the Torah, to participate in the Torah reading, to see the layout of the Torah, because it's quite beautiful. So come on up on a bima, so you can be in it. You can be in it. Oh, or stay right where you are and hear it. <laughs> and be in it. So Rabbi, what's the Abraham Yaakov Israel Ben Yerachmiel Thank you, Rabbi. Anybody yes. can repeat that? Um, okay. Yamot. Arab Abraham Yaakov Israel Ben Yerachmiel Ratzabela. Well, Yalla Torah. Barahu et Adonai Hamborach, Baruch Adonai Hamborach, the Alamba, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Alam, Asher Bachar Banami Kolhamim, Venatan Lanu et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai, no Tain Hatorah. Hadvarim ha'elele mor Anochi Adonai Elohecha Asher hotzeticha Me'eret mitzrayim mibeit avadim Lo yihye lecha Elohim acherim al panai Lo ta'aseh Lecha fessa, behold to Muna Asheba Shamayim, me maal, for Asheba Aret, me tachat, for Asheba Mayim, me tachat la Aret. Lotish the Havel of Hemelot of them. Kenahi Adonai Lohecha Elkana Poket Avon Avot Al Banim Al Shlishim Al Ribim Lashonai Vese Chesed Lalafim Lechavai Lashamrei Umitzvotai Lotisa Et Shem Adonai Lohecha Lasaf Ki the <laughs> Ota sefo melacha ata uvin cha uvitercha avtacha viamacha ukamtercha vagercha asher bisharecha ki sheshet yamim asadonai et hashamayim Yet a all red, et a yam yet call a sherbom, a yan after yom hashvi. Our king, she rah had o night, et yom hashabat by Kadsha. Kabed et avi chabed imecha le'amon le'ma'al yarihun yamecha al hadama asher adonai elohecha noten lach lo tirtzach lo tinav lo tignof ata anebrecha at shaker alo tachmod beit re'echa Lo tachmot eshet recha, ve'avdo v'amoto, v'shoro v'chamoro, v'hol asher l'recha. 
Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lana Torah temet Vechaye olam natah betochenu Baruch atah Adonai Noten haTorah Amen Amen Yeah, sure. 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 Uh, that they can tie things together. <laughs> that is what we invite, right, as we, as we, uh, Linda revealed the Torah, and now we put it back into its resting place in the ark. We'll invite you, please, to rise as we prepare to do so. <clears throat> and if you want to help with any, Linda, you did a, an excellent job. If you want to continue uh, to grab the mantle. Anybody else who would like to come forward, by all means, or to open the ark, the non-speaking part. <clears throat> And please be seated. Please be seated. Uh, we'll continue now. We'll turn to the words of the Mishaberach. You can find that on page 371. We turn from words of strength in the Torah to those who are needing strength in all ways, in body, in spirit, for whatever it is that is troubling them. And we turn at this time to offer words of blessing to each of them. Oh, I think the wrong page, sorry. 511. Pardon? Is it 511? 511? Yes, yeah, 511. Sorry, I'm in a different book on 511. Thank you. Mishaberach avotenu v'imotenu Avraham Yitzchak v'yakov Sarah Rivka Rachel v'leahu yivarech et acholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and give strength and wholeness to those who are struggling. This festival morning, we're holding in our prayers Shana Esterbutt, Rochel, Laura Braun, Rini Feingold, Irving Manis, Michael Shartok, Valerie Brownstein, Liz Steinberg, Stephen Brieger, Carol Brieger, Linda Champion, David Rosenzweig, Raymond Condone, Jen Palma, Lynn Sharfman, 
Yoel David Ben Mordechai, Baruch Yosef Ben Arye Leib Yehudit, Rachel Gordon, Marty Jacobson, Kim Stanger Delisle, Susan Margolis, Tom Vanek, Alan Skirker, Denny Linsner, Lou Jones, John Behrman, Nina Chazanoff, Mike Jacobs, Lillian Heller, Hannah Gittel, but Chaya the Yanko, Aviva Arona, but Shana Bela the Avraham. If there are any other names that you would add to the list of the Mishaberach for, for wholeness, for strength, for care of, of compassion and care, uh, please, if, uh, if you would add that name or those names as, as I look towards you, that would be lovely. And at home. May the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for wherever possible health to be restored and strength revived. May God send renewal of body and renewal of spirit as we join together and say, Amen. Amen. Please uh, join me. me turn now to words of Haftarah first, the blessing which can be found on page 512 in your Sidorim, in your prayer books, and then the text of Ruth which Cantor Braun will be sharing from us can be found uh, on hopefully on the, uh, the handout that you picked up at the back of the sanctuary. She'll be reading from Haftarah, from uh, Ruth chapter 1, verses 8 and following. Just a little note about uh, Ruth. Um, this is additional scroll that usually read during Shavuot. And the trope, the trope, the melody is different from the regular Haftarah trope. And the reason is, of course, to make it different, to make it festive, because it's a festival. But it's very uh, beautiful that the same melody is used, the same trope melody is used for the wedding ceremonies. So when the Kiantar or the rabbi chants underneath the chupa, it's, this, it's using the same melody. So we can have a spin on it. It's, it's the parallel between a couple who's standing under the huba and making covenant with each other. In the same way, we are who receiving the Torah on Shavuot and Ten Commandments. We are making covenant with God. So um, that's why it's different. Please help me recite the blessing together for Haftarah on page 512. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bahar Benevihim Tobim Veratzah Vedibrehem Anemarim Be'emet Baruch atah Adonai Aboher Batarav Moshe Avdo Israel Ki amarti yeshli tikva 
Page 513. Uh, let's recite together the blessing after Haftara and uh, just pay attention. There are the uh, additions for Shavuot. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Tzurko Halamim Tzadik Bechodorot Ha-el-hanem-on-ha-mer-bel-se-am-i-da-ber-um-e-kayem-she-kol-de-var-af-em-et-va-tzedek-ha-ha-dora-ve-av-da-ve-an-e-bi-him-ve-al-yom-hag
and put only the bitter in one bowl and the sweet end in the other, when, when he would eat, he would make a great show of pleasure and delight over the sweetness of the contents of the one bowl. And over the latter's, he would grimace and he would groan and he would complain. But the man with only one bowl naturally mixed the bitter and the sweet together. And as time passed, the first man actually grew weaker and weaker. And the second man, who ate the exact same food, grew healthier and stronger. And at last, the first saw his death approaching. And in desperation, he asked the second to tell him the secret of his vitality and his vigor. And the second replied, you had two bowls, divided the bitter from the sweet, believing that the taste is paramount, of paramount importance. And you didn't allow the food you took in to sustain you with its own nourishment. But I had only one bowl, so I was forced to mix the bitter and the sweet, having not been seduced by the matter of taste. For whatever I have been given to eat, I have simply taken in as food, and it has yielded its nourishment to me, regardless of how it tasted, thank God. The first man stumbled to his deathbed and with great stumbled from his deathbed and with great effort picked up one of the bowls and threw it to the ground and shattered it. Into the one bowl that remained, he placed food that his friend gave him, both the bitter and the sweet. And he ate. And in short time, he actually became whole again. So as we know, the bitter and the sweet can in fact nourish us if we allow it. The morning, this morning, as we celebrate Shavuot, the giving and the receiving of the Torah at Mount Sinai, a time when our tradition recommends that we eat dairy. How many of you grew up with that custom? Not just dairy, but what kind of dairy in particular? We saw some of it last night. Cheesecake, right? Not just cheese, but cheesecake, right? Cheesecake, right, resembling, we think, uh, the milk and honey of the promised land. So many of us have had the opportunity this year to, to spend time in Israel. Uh, and, and also the sweetness of that moment of receiving Torah. We're reminded that even in the most powerful and life-changing moments, like receiving the Torah, that they, in fact, may not be entirely sweet at all. As most of us have experienced, Nothing real and powerful can actually be all sweet. Even the receiving of the Torah itself, the very foundation of our people, was preceded by the upset of the golden calf and the breaking of the first set of tablets before we could truly appreciate the wisdom of the second, the power of the second. But each moment and both moments offer us the opportunity to inform, to change, and to sustain us. So as we turn to the words of Yaskur, we turn to, just before that, some words offered by my colleague, Rabbi Jen Gubitz, who reminds us that even today, grief and memory hold hands. And as brokenhearted, we find our way to wisdom and learning through that hand-holding. They say at Shavuot, Zman Matan Torah Tenu, the time of giving of the Torah, they say that we all stood together. These are words that I mentioned a few, a few moments ago and that many of us have heard before. Even those who were not yet to be, and even those now part of long ago living. And she invites us to consider, do you remember when you stood beside them, awaiting the great wisdom of the world? Whether that was here at Temple, at home, at a bus stop, or at the desk of their study, do you remember how together you listened and you wondered, you questioned the greatest of life's truths? When they said, this is the festival of teaching and learning of blushes and cheesecake, how sweet you thought. And in the silence, you score Elohim God remembered, and you remember. When you sat patiently beside them as they learned, and you remembered as you celebrated successes, and you remembered how you faced challenges together, and you remembered walks that you took and moments you enjoyed, and you remembered how you held them when they cried, and you remember how they taught you to be you, and you taught them to be them, whether your child, your sibling, your parent, your beloved teacher, your friend, 
or the generations of your loved ones. Your memories of them soften in the archives of your mind. But what they taught you, that remains. Etched on the parchment of your soul, the same parchment some of you just stood with moments ago and read from moments ago. Shavuot, Yiskor, Zman, Torah, Tainu, the season of Torah, you remember them. Legacy of wisdom and personal growth bound together, holding hands. Today we all stand together in celebration and in memory, in wonder and in strength, as gently we hold in our hands, in fact, that one bowl, filled as it is, knowing what it means to be changed by love, change that is sometimes sweet, change that is sometimes bitter, sometimes it lightens our load, sometimes it feels burdensome, but always it has the capacity to inform us, to make clearer our purpose, if we allow it. Grief and memory hold hands. As brokenhearted, we find our way through the year from birthdays to anniversaries, first days of school to graduation, from simchas to struggles and back to simcha again, from holiday to holiday and yisker to yisker. Not only today, but especially today. God remembers them, and so do we. We turn now to page 575 <coughs> as we turn to our Yiskor service. Page 575. Birth is a beginning and death a destination, and life is a journey from childhood to maturity and youth to age from innocence to awareness and ignorance to knowing, from foolishness to discretion and then perhaps to wisdom, from weakness to strength or strength to weakness and often back again, from health to sickness and back we pray to health again, from offense to forgiveness, from loneliness to love, from joy to gratitude, from pain to compassion and grief to understanding, from fear to faith, from defeat to defeat to defeat, until looking backward or ahead, we see that victory lies not at some high place along the way, but in having made the journey stage by stage a sacred pilgrimage. Birth is a beginning and death a destination, but life is a journey from birth to death to life everlasting. Page 576 as we turn to the words of the 23rd Psalm. Mi is more Adonai roi lo exar, bina desher bitzeli, armi minachodim aleni, neafshi eshavev yancheni, Adonai is my shepherd, I lack nothing. God makes me lie down in green pastures. God leads me to the water in places of repose. God renews my life, God guides me in right paths as befits God's name. Though I walk through a valley of deepest darkness, I fear no harm, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table for me in full view of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my drink is abundant. Only goodness and steadfast love shall pursue me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of Adonai for many long years. <clears throat> Shaviti, Psalm 16, can be found on page 578. 
We continue, each of us, at our own pace through pages 580, 581 in silence. We rise for El Malay Rachamim. El Malay Rachamim, Oh, no, no, 
shalom om ishkavam venomar amen holy compassionate god on high to our loved ones who have entered eternity grant clear and certain rest with you in the lofty heights of the sacred and pure, whose brightness shines like the very glow of heaven, source of mercy, forever enfold them in the embrace of your wings, secure their souls in eternity. Adonai, they are yours. They will rest in peace as together we say, Amen. Amen. Grief and memory hold hands as we remember them. In the rising of the sun and its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In hey, the Brian. Shine in the warmth of summer, we remember them. Brian. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. So long as they live, we too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. Page 586 is where we turn to our concluding prayers, the Elenu. <clears throat> Pages 598, 599, as we think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. During this period of Shloshim, during these last 30 days, we are mourning the loss of Marilyn Israel, wife of Robert Israel, mother of Michael Israel. Mike Field, stepfather of Gail Ferrioli, Harry Merlis, father of Gina Merlis, grandfather of Gracie and Hazel Peltz. Marion Siegel, mother of Joanne Siegel and Amy LaGambino. We are mourning the loss of Bernice Fraum and of Robert Shemaskin, father of Joel Shemaskin, grandfather of Deborah Trimble, Andrea Garraway, and Sarah Shemaskin. This marks a yard site and anniversary of passing for Edwin Albert, Leonard Ball, Albert Barnett, Evelyn Berlowitz, Marilyn Berlowitz, Nathan Biren, Pauline Block, J. Robert Bloom, Suzanne Cameron, Harvey Dennis, Roe V. Faber, Vasya Falkovich, Elia Farbenblum, Shandel Farbenblum, Pessel Farbenblum, Morris Feldman, Helen Feldsot, Arthur Fink, Gertrude Fishman, Sam Goldenshire, Rose Goldenshire, Mitchell Goldman, Maria Guzzi, Sally Graff, 
Lawrence Greer, Shirley Hart, Anna Hiller, Elaine Hoffman, Herbert Kaplan, Carol Lederman, Jacqueline Levine, Ruth Mallett, Jack Morse, Gary D. Sandler, Jewel Scheller, Manuel Schwartz, Martin Stark, Gita Stark, Charles Elliott Steinberg, Marion Stern, Evelyn Stoller, and Bernard Yellen. If there are other names that you would add to this list, please would you share that name or those names aloud with us? And from home. Zichronam Livracha, may each of their memories be for a blessing. It Kadal Vid Kadash Me Raba, Bail Ma Divra Hirute, Viamlich Mahute, Vachayechon of Yomechon, Ufraye de Hol Beit Israel, Vagala of Isman Kari Bimru, Amen. Yehe Shme Raba Mivarach, Leolam Olme Almaya. Yit barach vi ishtabach vi it paar vi tramam vi it nase vi it adar vi it ale vi it alal shmei de kudusha brihu le elam in kol birchata vashirata tush bechata vnechamata da amiran beelma vimru amen yehe shlama rabba min shemaya bechaim alenu beel kol yisrael vimru amen o se shalom bimramav huya se shalom. Aleinu ve'el kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all who mourn, to all Israel, as we join together in saying, amen. 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 Please be seated. Please be seated. And join us this evening at 6 p.m. for Shabbat evening services and Torah study tomorrow morning at 9.15 and services at 10.30. Uh, please note that our office is closed on Monday for Memorial Day, and we have we have some additional exciting events coming up. You can find all of those on our website, uh, but please also mark Get S'more Shabbat on Friday, June 2nd to join us outside. Hopefully the weather will hold beautifully, and uh, we'll have the opportunity to be all together. Any, any announcements that you have that we should know for this particular day that, that, uh, that are pressing or important? And we'll continue with our closing blessings, Kiddush and Motsi. And uh, if it's your custom to rise for, for Kiddush, please do so. And then we'll continue with Motsi. And join me. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam bore periyod hafen. Amen. Amen. And please be seated as we make Motsi, reminding ourselves of what nourishes, sustains, and informs us. We hope that you'll join us in the social hall for a cheesecake oneg for some celebrations from some sweetness to remind us of the sweetness of the day. And while the cantor is cutting, you can flip ahead to page 632 for our closing <coughs> song, Ain't a Dear. Mi piel, oh mi piel, yevar achol Yisrael. Mi piel, oh mi piel, yevar achol Yisrael. Ein adir baronai, ve'in baruk ve'in damram, ve'in gedola ketora, ve'in darshanecha ke Yisrael. Mi piel. Chag Sameach, good health to everybody, good memories and good spirits. Chag Sameach, everybody. Chag <clears throat> Sameach.